Thanks for clicking. You're listening to Time In with yours truly, Tommy Crenshaw. With me, welcoming back from his vacation from some uh, secure location that he will not discuss, uh, which I don't blame him for, Mr. Shining Star, Ricardo Lungus. I'm your shining star, Tommy, no matter where you are. Shining bright to see, you know, you, you will truly be. You know, you know what I'm saying, Tommy? You know, if yeah. you must know where I was, I was up meditating with the monks up in the Himalayas. You know, I, you know, sometimes there's lots of stress in this world and, and it gets to me. You know, I, it gets to me. I gotta get, I gotta yeah. go up there, yeah. gotta meditate, gotta commune with the animals and the monks and the snow. You know, and the whole time, you know, I, you know, I mean, I'm just dressed in a robe, you know, just dressed in a robe, eating, you know, eating random, uh, uh fruits. And, and, and box and stuff like that, you know, whatever they bring me, nice purified mountain water. It, it, it's a beautiful time. It really clears my head. I come back here. I'm ready to give you all that is Ricardo Longus. Well, that, wow. They, well, okay. Now you're setting the ball pretty high. Uh, you, you better got something to, to sh- show here. I thought you were going to be at a restaurant with the Himalayas. I mean, I've been to restaurants and I named that the like mountain towns and you go there and you, you walk up to the, the, the host station and it's like, it's, you got a little like a uh, rope, like you're going to go up. Like it's a themed restaurant, which is something. Hey, well, you mean yeah. we went to that one uh, restaurant called the Himalayas. They had that challenge. They had that like, uh, what was it like 55 gallons of ice cream you had to eat in an hour and a half or whatnot. The thing was like, you know, like, 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 you know, like uh, three feet tall. Yeah. They had all the, the, the chocolate syrups and the, and the sprinkles and the nuts and the, and the berries and yeah. all types of stuff in there. But I yeah, tried d- to do it. I couldn't do it. But there, there it. was a girl with the uncle and he's not a big guy. I mean, he's probably like five, four, or something like that. No disrespect. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, jo- we talked about this jockey. He's a scrapper and stuff like exactly, that. Exactly. That thing fell over, knocked him off his chair. The chair flipped over and poked him in the eye. He lost an eye. He's got an eye patch. I saw him the other day. Uh, in a parking ice, lot. Yo, a, yo, ice cream in the eye is a very uh, serious problem, yeah. and people don't talk about it. They don't talk about that. And there's another theme one was, uh, the, I went to a place, it was an Italian restaurant, but it was a Venetian one. And you you they, they, you, you walk inside the door, and there's freaking a canal. Uh, the, you know, it's like oh, yeah. the, 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 the Venice thing, and you gotta, you gotta row the boat like to get to your table. And uh, the, the boat flipped over. Me and some friends were in there, and we were all kind of got some swirlies in us. And it tipped over, and uh, one of the guys almost drowned. And, uh, yeah, it was just that's, I think, what sealed the deal. But uh, speaking of sealing the deal, we got with us uh, the, uh, the, the fan favorite, Mr. Anthony North, who seals every deal. Hey, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, Tommy. So you need a deal done, you call me. I'll get that done in the next 20 minutes, man. I, that's my limit. If, if it takes more than 20 minutes, uh, I'm calling Ricardo up in the mountains, start putting some spells uh, out there. Uh, the man's got ultimate power. I, uh, Ricardo, uh, vacationing uh, in the mountains, meditating. Uh, what, what special powers did you find? Yo, all I got is the special power... Uh, 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 of love. That's all I got. I got, I got, you know, de-stressment and love. That's, that's okay. all I got. Oh, yeah. Okay. Marvin. Love Gaye. is all you need. Love yeah. is all you need. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Marvin Gaye for that, that announcement. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so we got some sports to talk about. And by the way, no disrespect. Marvin Gaye was the best. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one of the best clarify. national anthems of all time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, just, yeah, yeah. He, he did a for Emmy's performance of sexual healing that, I mean, as you know, I'm a straight guy, and it, it made me question what's going on in my world. But I'll yeah, say yeah. A, a couple of people got married that night, or a couple of babies yeah, got yeah, married. Yeah, you know, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, a lot of things me. happened. You know a lot of saying? things. Yeah, plants were created. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah So uh, so speaking of plants being created, uh, do we want to talk about just briefly about uh, you know? I gotta get my pick in here. Uh, we got some baseball to talk about, and then some some hockey just to mention, but. Uh, the, uh, the I, I, the, everyone's wanting to know, and uh, you know, I, I missed one. I missed one uh, last week, but that okay. was uh, that was fumble fingers. Fumble fingers ruined that, and that was gonna be a go. I was gonna be uh, the, the three and zero, but uh, the, this one I got is uh, Baylor beating uh, BYU. And, oh, I can uh, see that. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think mean, it's yeah. 
I think I think it'll happen. I, I you, know, you know, like I say, I usually put my money on Tommy. You know, I even made money uh last week for Nebraska. Uh, uh you know, I, I, you know, I bet. You know, I, you know, I usually bet a bunch of different ways. You know, but make a bet, bunch of different ways. It's okay. You know, I'll still make a little bit of money. I know what you're saying. I was, you know, how can you make a bet when you're up in the mountains? I, I did it beforehand. That's yeah. uh, before I left. Just, you know, but you know, yeah. I, I got I got my money in there, Tommy. So hey, go with what Tommy says. I still I still go by what Tommy says. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that uh, what's going to happen is that Baylor's going to be playing, and you got Randa. Well, Randa is going to uh, might be LSU's next coach. It's possible. So possible. he's going to be playing for it, but playing, for, and he's going to tell the guys. Uh, he's going to say, uh, "Guess what? Y'all not playing BYU. Y'all playing Yale. I mean, the helmet's going to look the same. You know, they say and he's, <laughs> they try to trick them." And, oh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm playing, they see the helmet, the air, like, oh, we got these guys in the bag, overconfidence, and they just pummel them. Uh, I don't think the score is going to be like that, like they're going to pummel them score-wise. I think they'll beat them by six. I think the, 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 it's, it's, they're supposed to lose by six. That's a 12-point variation, but I don't care. That's uh, what I feel is going to happen. I think that's the, the top 25. Uh, I, mean, the, I mean, come on, this is BYU. I mean, they, they've yeah. had the, some great quarterbacks. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you had Steve Young came in. You, you had uh, the, one of the Detmer brothers oh, was yeah. in there. Uh, you did, did the guy at uh, that's at the Jets. Um, oh, Zach, uh, Will, Zachy Wilson, uh, little Zachy Zach Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's like five years old, but he's the guy. He's like probably forty, faking his age, like he's one of these Jamaican baseball players. Hey, but, he just, uh, yeah. just want to pinch his cheeks. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, okay. no, yeah. Yeah, they want to get a little, yeah, you find out, little boy. Yeah, like that freaking couple where, like in Ohio, that, that adopted that uh, Russian child that was like f- like a 45-year-old that was like a credit card scam artist character. Yeah, hey, but yeah. It, it yeah, happens, they, Tommy. It happens every once in a while. Every once in a while, you adopt a, you know, a 45-year-old uh, person that looks like the 12. It happens. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not in dis- disrespect. But, yeah, yeah, I, I think uh, um, I, uh, there was another BYU. Who were the, the, the BYU quarterbacks? You, you had a few in there, right? Oh, I mean, uh, there's a bunch of them, Tommy. Yo, I mean, it, you, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Taysom Hill was in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Taysom Hill. Those 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 moments. The the Bears' only good quarterback they've ever had is Jim McMahon, who was a BYU guy. Oh, true, true. They've got some good good quarterbacks. They just yeah, they just end up in weird spots and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, Yeah. so that I mean, they got a still Joe Montana's job. I mean, come on, there's 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 some. But that's what uh, Steve Bono was supposed to do. But Bono would just uh, you know, Bono has some good games, and I don't know what happened to him. Jeez, I mean. Hey, right, uh, we'll start working for J.C. Penny or something like that. Oh, no, respect J.C. Penny. That's a great place. I used to go there all the time, pick up chicks, freaking get new socks and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's let's meet. Let's just talk about what's what's going on right now. So uh, baseball, and this is uh, the hottest time sports. And basketball's in preseason. You got oh, footballs yeah. finally getting into like the identity of the teams. And uh, yeah, the hockey just started. Uh, you know, fell asleep to the, the, the Kraken. Uh, yeah, the, Kraken. Somebody explained to me what a Kraken was. It's just uh, it's it's, it's yeah. a sea creature. Whatever. It's like a big, but, it's like a big old octopus or something like that. You know, it was in that Clash of the Titans. You know, back in the day with a little robot owl thing. You so know? it's like an organite. Yeah, it's like an organite. No, that's cra- come on yeah. now. No, you gotta go hey, down this road again. It's got all those. It's, it, but it's like a big old octopus. It's like a super, super big o- octopus. It's like it's almost like an octopus from another planet. It's like that ca- that Cthulhu thing that people like to worship and whatnot. The big Cthulhu. So they're gonna guy. worship this thing. I mean, it's a big monster. You 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 offer things to the big monster so it don't hurt you. That's yeah, what, that's what they're supposed use, to do. All those used needles that they got in Seattle. You know, feed them I mean, all I mean, that stuff. Right. But I mean, but when it talks to the you know with the the cracking, you know, you just you know you you at, at this yeah, point really. that you just offering them, you just offering them, uh, you know, uh, the, s- you know, uh, average hockey playing. That's what you're offering. Yeah, the, the a crack city the that's moment. dealing with a drug problem, and you got a character that has the word crack in it, just seems a little bit inappropriate. But anyway, they, they, so they 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 played the gold nice, and they, they they didn't win. Before that, you you uh, you had. Uh, uh, the, um, who was it? It was Tampa. Uh, excuse me, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Yeah, wait, and uh, who do they lose to? 
Uh, they were playing. They were playing the nun hats. The, the, the nun hats. Oh, yeah, the, the, the penguins. The penguins. That's right. That's right. Oh, the nun hats. Yeah, the, the penguin. The penguin hats. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they yeah yeah, and the penguins went in there and and, and, and carved up the ice. Uh, but they they unveiled. Uh, hey, we won, and then the penguins said, "Yeah, you won last year. Uh, we got your number this year, pals." And uh, yeah, and uh, but yeah, so that was going on. But but baseball, that's the thing. Uh, baseball right now, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I think that uh, you know, and, and baseball is trying to turn a new leaf. They're not the snooze fest, and they're proving it. Because Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is probably going to be one of the best uh, postseason players of all time. I'm just, I was hey, just saying he's the And what did I say? And what did I say? Dodgers going to be all the way. What did I say? Dodgers all the way. Yo, Mookie, he, he's killing it out there. He's a Mr. He's Mr. Johnny on the spot. I mean, his numbers are not there to say that he's the best. I mean, the Giants have got some other uh, sluggers. I mean, there's like five or six guys that bat over like around 400 in the postseason and they're putting up the RBIs and stuff like that but uh, I think he's Johnny on the spot he's the guy uh, he, he's a beast but I'm not saying the Dodgers are going to win at all uh, but uh, uh, that's he, my bet so far that's my yeah. bet so well, far you, it's, been, it's been an interesting uh, playoff season it's been an interesting play but that's my bet so far I but, mean you know hey, the Sox are doing good the Red Sox yeah, are doing the Sox good. Doing good but, the, the White Sox, well, not no, so much. Well, the best, well, I'm talking about Mookie bets, Mookie bets for a second. You know, like you, like you said, Tommy, I mean, statistically, uh, we've yet to see what Mookie's going to do. He's got another 28 years on his contract. Uh, you know, he's still a young man. Uh, a lot of guys get better when they get closer to 40 in the playoffs. We've seen we've seen what guys can do. Uh, look at Tom Brady, uh, you know, 44 years old in the Super Bowl dominating. Wait till yeah. Mookie's 44. But let's let's look. When Mookie's career, when the game is on the line and you need a play, you need a home run, you need a catch, you need a dive, you need a amazing throw from uh, the corner of the outfield on the fly to third base to just Justin Turner, who did not have to move a muscle uh, on the throw. Uh, Mookie, Mookie's a one-of-a-kind baseball player. There's yeah. never been anyone like him. And then not to mention, the guy bowls 300. Uh, you know, he helps little old ladies across the street through Los Angeles traffic. Uh, the man does it all. That's a feat. I mean, you're going through like uh, 30 lanes of traffic in some cases. So that, that yeah, that's different than, like you said, like if, if he's in like uh, – a pot tuck it, and he's just going around like a uh, four lanes. But yeah, that, 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 no, that's good. I, I think that he's good. Uh, you, you, the, the thing that I thought was interesting is that uh, you you had uh, just a few days ago, you had a historic matchup. You had the two cheating organizations of all time going against each other. You know, you you had the Chicago Black Sox and you had the Houston Trash Can Lid Bangers. And hey, that, go trash can bangers. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but that's who won the trash can. Uh, I, think, I think I hear a fastball coming. I think I hear a fastball yeah, yeah, coming. Right yeah, yeah. You got a <laughs> more staccato. You know, more staccato. Hey, what are you yeah, talking about? More, that? It's a half note or whatever. They they probably had some musician guys in there, like the 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 John Ford Coppola's that that did yeah. the, the the Star Trek. Uh, Hey, you gotta do you gotta do it on the one and they gotta do it on the two. Hey, the one and the two and the one two and you know what side. That's about the to thing. Do. Like yeah. you gotta learn that <laughs> language. And like the ma- mafia people sometimes say that like if I knew like uh, how easy it was to make money uh, being straight, I would have done it. But uh, I don't know anything about the mafia. But uh, the well, uh, they don't exist, so it's it's okay. But, uh, yeah, it exists. I just don't know anything about it. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to this one. You got the Braves and uh, the, 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 what was it? Y'all was saying off, uh, the, uh, I, 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 I think, uh, Anthony, you were saying this about the, um, uh, Ortiz character. Now you've seen all these big giant fucking snow glasses they're wearing to celebrate. 
And they got the oh, new yeah, arrow. Yeah, logo. they've trade. I mean, yeah, Big Poppy trademarked it a while back. Uh, you know, nobody wants to get champagne in the eye. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever been in the locker room when the teams win in championship series. Uh, you know, that, that's just that's just blindness uh, happening left and right. There's players, you know, they they never see straight again. You know, a little cork bottle in the you know in the eye. Next thing you know, a little champagne to rub it in. Oh man, it, it's a it's a it's a tough sight. So David Ortiz, after uh, winning about seven World Series, decided there was something he needs to do about it. Uh, so he brought the snow goggles in, and uh, they're, they're kind of ugly. I, I got to be honest, but uh, but you know, that, it's all about safety. It's all about oh, safety. Big Poppy, Big Poppy. Hey, Big Poppy. Hey, that's a lovely man. That is a lovely, lovely man. We we like to go down. We like to get some food. You know, we like to get some nice. Uh, you know, go down in Miami. We like to eat it up. You know, it, it's it's good time. Good times. You know, get some nice plantains. Get some coffee. You know, we we do good. Maybe have a big old cigar. That's how we ro- rock and roll. You know. Oh. Oh, you're talking He's my a good language, man, good Ricardo, man. man. A cigar with Big Poppy in Miami. Oh, yeah. uh, that That's a good time. So, yeah, to, to, to wrap, it, uh, wrap it up here now, like, uh, like uh, I want to say another thing. Like, why, why are we announcing the draft pick order, like, going into the playoffs? I mean, no, but no team, no sport does this garbage. They, they, they're listing, they got a list to get people excited I bet the, the season's not over. I mean, but uh, uh, Major League Baseball's got to get some stuff together. I know they're talking about some other uh, things that they're going to do, like the the ninth inning. They're going uh, uh, to have where the lineup goes out the window, and they're going to have uh, you, you you choose you want to pl- uh, play who in. And I was uh, you know I, I pay attention. I got my my ear to the uh, uh, my ear to the rail, but uh, uh, in the, the Eisen guy. Was saying, uh, you know, like, uh, what if you could you put the same guy up and, uh, against this pitcher in the ninth, like three times in a row? He strikes out, comes back again. He's like a like a like a uh, like a, a Jason character from the 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 Friday the Fourth movies. But uh, uh, I, yo, I mean, if if you got yo yo, if you got yo, you, you can pick yo whoever you want to put up there. Hey, what if they went one step further? What if they went one step further? And, and you know they can pick what pitcher they want to pitch. You know, so, but that's so how you, it should be. Yeah, they, they, because it, that's and the point is is that other sports do that. You put oh, your yeah. you put your big players in. Baseball, the the thing is though, like pitching arms, and you don't know you're saving a guy for this and for that. It's more of a challenge. But uh, d- 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 that's what's going on. They and they're changing length of games. They're doing all this and all that. And I hope to God they're going to keep the World Series to seven games and not say, oh, we're going to do it in three. I mean, like, I don't know, you know, what if you just said you're going to do it in three? Or if you did it in one, did it like the, the, the uh, like, um, like uh, football does, the Super Bowl. What and if uh, you, yo, yeah, yeah, one and done, baby, one and done. Yeah, you what put if you put it in like a best. stadium, the like University of Michigan, 100,000 people, they'd probably lose money. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure things out here, guys. Yeah, I mean, baseball is, baseball is popular when it comes to the playoffs, all right? Regular season baseball is rough. 162 games, they got to mix it up. You need to think of some creative ideas uh, sometimes. You can't just keep pushing the same thing out there every night. So, uh, you know, one thing I saw too, uh, Tommy, uh, stealing first base. Uh, Ooh, yeah, you know, that's, game, yeah. Game's moving a little slow. Uh, pitcher gets ball, ball gets away from the catcher. Next thing you know, that guy's taking off. He's stealing first base. The throw goes out to right field, steals second. Now you got an inside the park home run uh, on a ball that was not swung at. And that's the kind of stuff, uh, you know, I think baseball is going to be doing in the future. They should be. And that's going to, you know, speed the game up. Speed yeah, the game but, but up. The, the, the purest of the problem. And so we just got to assassinate all these characters. But no, I'm not saying assassinate like, like, like a roulette, like with guns. I'm saying assassinate, like to take them out someplace, take them to the park, get them lost, give them some crackers because they're old. And old people like crackers and sardines, stuff like give them some old people pimento cheese, whatever, whatever the old people like, have a little picnic and give them a kumbia. And you change like the rules. And when they come back, they're so confused. Uh, I, I, I think that, um, like I said before, there's you, you, you got to score the bases. You got to score like first base, second base, third base, score the bases, take away the shortstop, take away the second baseman, the center fielder. 
make it more an active sport with people more physical because you had baseball players are getting too big and fat and all this stuff. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that, make, that, the bases, just, make the bases bigger, uh, move them closer together. Yeah, uh, let's speed this thing up. I mean, I don't, nobody up. wants to see a, a base hit, they want to see guys run into second, they want to see close plays. Get, uh, you know, they, there's so much, so much to do in baseball. Get, get with the times. Hey, you heard it here first, folks. We're going to take all the baseball purists out to a nice little field, a farm up in the mountains. And, and entertain just them. Out the past- and no, pasture, and just entertain them. Out the no, entertain them. Entertain no, we're them. just going to let them uh, roam in the no, pasture. No, take watch them watch them no, 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 no. We're going to put on some, uh, no. yeah, we're going to put on some old reels. baseball game. Yes, we're going to put on, we're going to put, we're going to put on some old film reels from yeah. the 19, thir- 1913. We got yeah. baseball oh, that game that's like five hours Five hours long, and you got you got Skippy old Hanahan. You know, realize old, that's the last you know, time he's, he's, he's throwing that uh, 70, 75 mile per hour fastball, yeah. and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let we're gonna let them have it in the pasture up in the mountains where they can roam free and be angry with the with the with the way of baseball today. Oh yeah, yeah. The days of old Hoss Radburn, they're gone. Oh yeah, and that's the end of the game. Thanks for clicking. You tuned in to Time In with me, Ricardo Longus. I got Tommy Crenshaw. I got Anthony North. TTFN. <laughs>